200 days start to finish from the time we said, let's go build this until we flew it on a, on a 70 minute perfect first flight. Well, it's a thrill to be able to do a first flight, and I got to thank Vern. Uh, he pulled me aside at the Christmas party and says, "I got this idea." He <laughs> says, "We want to we want to make a single-engine airplane, and we want to take it to Oshkosh." And I'm thinking, "Okay, seven months away." I said, "That could conceivably be done." But here we are. We started working with a great group of folks: uh, Swift Engineering and California and Basis here in uh, Virginia, and putting together a really, really, really great team that was able to do very, very rapid prototypes. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Now, this aircraft uses an awful lot of the Eclipse 500, something that we always said was possible. So the wing, the landing gear, all the actuators, the entire audio system. In fact, we were able to wire and power up for the first time this aircraft in four days. It is going to be a lot more efficient uh, airplane than, than the 500, and the 500 is a pretty efficient airplane. I just flew over an hour and burned 350 pounds of gas for the whole flight, and I spent the first 15 minutes at, at max continuous thrust trying to get to altitude with the gear hanging. Now this particular airplane, since it's a prototype, is, is overweight, and, uh, and it also is under thrusted, so when we build it light and put the, the size engine we think we're going to get, we're really going to see some performance. This actually could be the ultimate air taxi aircraft because if the ultimate personification of air taxi is one person going where they want to go, when they want to go, you've really got to have a small airplane to do that. So this, this could be the next logical incarnation. Aero TV is brought to you by... Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own, and easy-to-operate, very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. Airplane pretty much flew like we, we thought it would fly, and it, it has a few things in it that we knew would be there that we can fix. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, usually when an airplane looks good, it flies good, and this one definitely is like that. Uh, when the landing gear came up and she was clean, uh, she really wanted to go fly. So that, that's a very, very good sign. And the airplane for first flight, uh, all the systems were very stable. So the old adage in aviation, if, if it looks good, it'll fly good. And so to some extent, the curves are the, just the result of the air telling us what it wants to do. And so it, it's, I think it's, I'm, I'm biased obviously, mm -hmm. but I think it's a, it's a beautiful little airplane. And in fact, I think it's one of the prettiest little airplanes I've ever seen in flight. A couple of months ago when Vern Rayburn said, boy, have I got something for you. That tends to get my attention. Vern Rayburn is one of those guys you just don't ignore. When he said that there was going to be a single engine eclipse, he said it was going to be something I'd never seen before. He wasn't kidding. So today, July 2nd, 2007, Wallops Island, a NASA flight test facility of, well, it's seen its fair share of action, saw possibly the next step in personal transportation. It's the eclipse concept jet, the ECJ. For the Aero News Network and for Aero TV, I'm Jim Campbell.